Alright, what's up? Love these. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how is everyone? Okay, I guess people are driving in my neighborhood at 12.30 at night. That is awesome. As you guys can see by the title, we are answering some uh, diabetes questions I asked 15 weeks ago. Uh, if you want to ask any questions about T1D and want them answered for a video, ask them here. Either if you want, either if you are type 1 or you want some advice or you are curious to something, to what something is for or what something does, I will answer all of them. Um, so yeah, I got a couple here. I don't have that many, but we're just gonna give more in depth. We're gonna talk a little bit. Um, I actually haven't done a sit down video in a while. I haven't been back in this room in a while. I tried to film, film. I tried to film a video the other day, but I kind of got bored of it and really didn't um, go through with my plans. So um, yeah, let's just jump right into this. Um, first off, I'm going to say that I'm not going to be always doing type 1 videos because I don't really enjoy them. I'm not sure that many people subscribe to my channel for them. Again, like, I don't know how many people subscribe to my channel for this. <laughs> my diabetes videos aren't really my main focus, but I decided to uh, answer some questions because I haven't talked about it for a while. I'm going to do, I'm going to do this every once in a while. Um, but yeah, just give you guys a little update on how I'm doing with my blood sugars. I am doing very, very good. Um, today was one of my worst days, but the mindset is like half of the battle, in my opinion, because I can get very down on myself. But today was very good. Um, I mean, today wasn't very good, but today was good mentally. Yeah, I got an endo in about a week and a half or something. Um, looking at getting a tattoo then. Also, I really want to fill up this spot on my arm. Um, with something I don't know I do know but I don't really want to share that yet because I don't want comments on it of what it is and I kind of want it to be a surprise so yeah right here hopefully if not inside arm right here I have a couple ideas but my main focus is to get this outline done so I can set up for this one and then this one and then start filling in for a sleeve, um, which I'm going to be finishing when I turn 18. Yeah, let's just jump right into these questions and advice. So first one we got says, what foods affect your blood sugar the most? Um, for me, I don't know, I'm not really sure. I'm not very connected with a whole bunch of type ones. Um, I don't really, it's not that I don't like them. It's just that I don't really care to be connected to someone just because of a disease. It is nice to talk to someone who doesn't know, but not all the time um, that I do do that stuff. And what I see is fast food really, really does it for me. Um, every time that I seem to eat fast food, I end up high. I don't understand. Maybe it's because my brain tells me they give myself lower doses of insulin because I am out and about. That's usually what I'm eating fast food or I'm driving long periods of times and that's when I eat fast food. So then I will underdose so I do not get low. And Cause one of my biggest fears is getting low in the car and like being in the middle of towns or something and not having something in the car. So, or even if I do have something in the car, I really typically don't like getting low because of um, driving while low is another fear of mine. So I do typically underdose and I, I know I do it and I know it's bad because I go high, but fast foods really do kill my blood sugar. Um, so I try to typically stay away from fast food, but if it's the only thing in the area, then that's when I do eat fast food. Um, do you wake, Do you have to wake up in the middle of the night to check your sugars? Now this is a very good question because a lot of people I know do, um, but I did for about maybe six months um, for when I was first diagnosed. I think it was around six months to maybe a year that I did. I woke up at 3 a.m. every night to check my blood sugar. Um, 
and most nights my mom woke me up and that is one thing that I do thank her a lot for was coming in and making sure I was okay but as I got older and as I had it longer I do wake up in the middle of the night if my blood sugar is low I usually wake up around 60 maybe 70 I have woken up around 100 and any time that my body feels uncomfortable with the way I'm feeling that is typically when I do wake up and it is a very good like thing that I have internally in my body and I don't think I could you know sleep right if I knew I that I didn't wake up I've had nights where I have woken up multiple times and had to fix multiple low blood sugars and I've had times where I, I've woken up and knew instantly why I woke up and went but I have also had times where I'm like why did I wake up and then I start to realize that my body has woken me up in some weird way usually it's a weird way um, that I'll like maybe kick my foot and wake myself up or something weird but sometimes it is just I wake up and I know that my blood sugar is low the next one we have why do you not use a CGM now I get a lot of questions why I do not use technology at all in my diabetes routine and there's very simple answers for that it's just that I do not like to switch up I'm sure that if I had a a CGM and a pump right away that I would not want to change but they put me on shots right away and they I manually check my blood sugar and I feel in the most control I know my fingers would love for me to have a CGM and reduce my number of finger pricks in a day and I'm sure that my bruises on my thighs which I have about 15 right now and I you know it is my thighs are super tender and sensitive I'm sure that I that I would love a pump and I'm sure that my arms and my stomach would love a pump to reduce the the shots but the one thing that does not want to pump is my mind and I get really freaked out um, you know as I uh, progress on YouTube I will get into more mental health stuff but I I do struggle with anxiety and I do struggle with depression and stuff like that but that those are two things that kind of go hand in hand with how I feel with diabetes and I do think that they they do correlate diabetes and anxiety and stuff like that because I never really had it before I had I was diagnosed and I will I will get into more of that and I, I'm trying to become a more of an advocate for mental health as I progress you know with my therapy and with everything that I'm doing and that's a big goal of mine and that's a big thing I want to portray on my YouTube channel that you know it is okay and uh, I, I talked with my therapist and she says that maybe we should be more okay with talking about it and I do agree and that is something that I am working on and I'm working on that not only for me but for you guys in case you struggle with the same things. I don't use it because I don't want to and that's as simple as that and I don't want to change. Does it impact you, um, diabetes, in a positive or negative way? And that kind of goes in with how I said it runs hand in hand with uh, anxiety. Um, some days um, I do think who, what, wh why ever I got this for giving it to me because it has defined who I am but it hasn't I think it's changed me for the better um, I do not wish it on anyone I do not wish that people get this I do wish for a cure for the next generation I'm not too worried about one um, I would like to see it in my lifetime I would like to see people you know be cured of this and I, I would like to see advancements and stuff like that to make it easier but um, for the time being, this stuff really doesn't worry me. Um, I am most comfortable um, now than, I, 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 than I've ever been in my life. Um, I'm comfortable with who I am and I'm comfortable with what I've done. And I can't wait to see myself progress. I know that I will and I know that um, uh, me as a diabetic will progress. and. I find out new tips and tricks all the time. I find out 
more stuff about me every single day and that's incredible to learn and I, I love learning about myself and I love sharing that with people and I'm working on sharing that with people because like I do enjoy it and but yeah I think it has impacted me in a both positive and negative way um, it has led to anxiety and depression but it also has um, helped me speak out and help me get my voice out there and I I hope that I can use it to grow not only my voice but me as a person so that I, I can't really give you a specific answer on that one so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it gave you some sort of knowledge if you guys are new make sure you guys think about subscribing as long as liking commenting and subscribing I'll be having a new series coming out soon and I hope you guys um, are excited to see what I have in store. I'm really excited to bring it to you. and I'm really excited to be back and uploading a lot um, We're about to kill it this year, and uh, I hope you all had a wonderful day. This has been Owen um, Yeah, make sure you guys turn on those bell notifications So you guys can be notified every time I upload. It's been Owen. I'm out. Peace